morning. Another day in Paralyze. Uh, today we're going to fix the diesel filter on a Cummins 6BT engine. And I hope that's the problem because otherwise it's going to be a hassle. But keep fingers crossed. So here you see me crawling behind the port engine. And um, my intention is to exchange the fuel filter because the port engine died exactly on our second day of the trip when we arrived in our harbor and um, as we were close to the mooring station the engine just went off and we couldn't start her again so my first thought was that maybe the fuel filter is clogged up with some particles uh, the fuel filters are just two days old i mean they were replaced in lubeck when we started our trip but you never know how the tank looks from the inside and as you can see in the top of the fuel filter there's quite a lot of rust and um, particles so I think I have lots of shit in my tanks and um, and it's even not still full because um, normally the fuel filter should be full up to the top so then you see um, you already see that it sucked out f fuel from the filter and that's the reason why the engine went off. But I thought it's um, the, fi the filter which was stuck but here you see me trying to work on the lift pump and as there is at the moment no fuel filter the fuel should just pour out um, of the fuel filter housing but there's nothing coming out so I'm just pumping and pumping and pumping. I will just speed this up for you guys because it's quite a while before I finally got aware that um, it was the fuel filter which is clogged up but it's also the lift pump which is somehow broken but for this I have another video. So whenever you have the problem and you think you're lift pump is broken there's no need to do it so long as I do it here on the video and this is already with 300 percentage of speed so normally when the lift pump is working you push it four times and then um, the fuel comes immediately out but because it was my first time I had no idea that it works like this so I just try to squeeze and squeeze now I'm you see me taking off the fuel line from the switch pump uh, from the lift pump because I try to see if there's fuel coming out of the line but of course on an old ship it's not so easy to get off the lines especially when you do it for the first time because I was afraid that I could break something so in the rest of the video you just see me trying to figure out how to get rid of this connection but at the end I decided that the lift pump is broken and that I needed to buy a new one and I reinstalled the new filter. Um, when you reinstall the new filter it's important that you first completely fill it up with fresh diesel because um, otherwise the, there is a high chance that the engine sucks in the air from the filter and um, here you see me fixing the filter and it only needs to be hand tight so you don't need to over screw it because then you have a high chance that you kill the seal which is lying on top of the filter okay so filter is on I had some uh, problems with the petrol line because it wasn't uh, venting proper so now everything is done I filled up the fresh water supply for the engine and the cooling water and now we just make a last check on the engine oil and everything fits proper and then we are going to see if it starts or not cross the fingers I just show you how nasty it is here in the engine compartment and of course you can work amazing on the left engine or on the starboard engine on the inner side and on the port engine on the other side um, but the sides where the hulls are not really so good. Uh, as you can see here, not really, not really a pleasant place to work. 